And right here is the Burj Khalifa. You can eat all that, Phil. Yeah, we. <laughs> You get downstairs to reception and you realise you've left your wallet and your key card. You can't well, you can't get back up because you need to put it in there and uh, so they've had to get me another one and now I have to go back up and it takes well it's not forever but at least a minute. Um, so yeah. Phil's downstairs waiting for me. I'm gonna get a taxi to get my fingerprints and whatever done and then get some breakfast in Dubai Mall probably and see where we go. Okay, so after yesterday's experience of uh, getting told off, hi Philip, I've just gone and got the biometrics done, which was just fingerprints. It literally took, I was in and out in five minutes, so it's 9.15 in the morning now, and I am going to go to Dubai Mall with Phil, we're going to get some breakfast, and yeah, find something to do for the day. So uh, Philip just uh, got me to buy some chocolates. Um, he bought some for his wife and I decided to buy a box as well. And because I don't yet know the currency, um, I discovered that the box of chocolates that I bought, we've actually, because we're going outside now, we've actually just left them in there and they gave us a little receipt to pick it back up. But they're like 40 quid a box. Aren't they, Philip? Yes, bruv. Yeah, we. <laughs> yeah, so we can have a look outside in a minute. We just bought a timeout market in this bit here, and right here is the Burj Khalifa. Can you see it? Awesome. It's so big. Incredible. Where's Philip? Phil, what are you doing? Looking, bro. What are you saying? Yeah, bro. <laughs> so we're just back in the Dubai Mall. Back to the aquarium in a minute. Coming up for quarter past 12 and then we're going to go for lunch. What are we having for lunch, Phil? Burgers! <laughs> we're having burgers. He's been talking about these for ages. So they're apparently the top, was it top two burgers out of the top? This one place has two burgers in the top 20 in the whole of Dubai. There we go. So we're going to go and try that out and I'll show you some photos. So, just, uh, we're waiting for some what is it we're waiting for? The fountains thing? Some fountain show. Some fountain show. So I've just come to find Brightlin because I want to treat myself to a Brightlin watch. I'm not going to do that today. I kind of should have a goal. So Brightlin's here. But I've come to like window shop just to see. I've got Rolex over there as well. You can see it behind me. But um, yeah, I've just come to have a little window shop and see, see what's what. Treat myself one day. I don't know what my target should be. Let, what do you think my target should be? Goal target to be able to buy a Brightling between six and twelve grand. We're in jewelry. So we're in the biggest Nike shop ever. It's like literally massive. Right. Still want a top, a Nike top that says Dubai on it. Apparently there's one here, so we'll see. And then we're gonna go and watch the water show, then get lunch. So this is where the uh, top burger place is apparently. Although the burger is pretty damn small, I should have got a double. Phil's still waiting, but I'm gonna eat. See the man trying to uh, carry his food, his mountain of food. Look at him, what a pig. That's me, pathetic. But that is honestly stunning. Mate, that chicken burger looks awesome. Yeah. Yeah, Check it out. Check it out, man. Thank you very much, Philip, for my milkshake. So this is the museum of the future. I saw this on the way in, I didn't know what it was, I just thought it was an ornament, but it's not. It's a museum of the future. 
So, we've just come to the Museum of the Future. And what happened, Phil? It's sold out. They're sold out. They're sold out of adult tickets, but they're not sold out of, uh, what was it called? The Priority Pass. The Priority Pass, which is like 400 dirhams. Um, probably like 80 quid or something like that, 80 pounds. Uh, $90, $100, something like that. Um, yeah, so I feel like, bearing in mind we don't actually know what's in here, we haven't bothered to check. I may come back at June, June the 13th or after that on my own and um, and explore. But well, he's not going to get to see it, unfortunately. Sorry, Phil. Oh well, we're wasting the cab journey here. <laughs> I've been back at the apartment for about half an hour now and I'm just going to catch up on some work. Um, uh, Phil's gone for a nap while I do a bit of work. And yeah, we'll reconvene in a bit and uh, go down to the marina, see what that's like and get some lunch. But for now, see you later. Just come to um, the Bay Marina, which is here. You've probably seen the wheel from my uh, balcony. And uh, we come out the hotel and we've asked two taxis to try and take us here for free. Uh, the first one, what did the first one say? Some rubbish. They didn't know where it, didn't know where it was or something. And then uh, even I was showing on a map. And then the second one was just kept saying, I can't see. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then he just he just got in his car, drove off, and his door swung open as he was turning the corner. Um, so yeah, I ordered one on Kareem instead because it was more reliable. So now we're just walking down the strip. I think it's the strip. It's nice anyway. I'm gonna go and get some cheesecake, some American food, good old traditional Arabic food. <laughs> and this is pretty cool. Pumpkin rice, French fries. Is this touchscreen, is it? Yeah. Nice. I think we should try this. Yeah? Yeah, yeah we'll do that. Thank you. So we're going to Patio Gourmet. This is our little menu at the Lebanese on an iPad each. But Phil, right, so basically I just went into the toilet, all right, and the floor is really wet. <laughs> yeah. Really? So, yeah. <laughs> huh? No, no, I think the, the douche <laughs> thing has been used, like the pipe. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Cheers, Phil. Right, mojito and um, Ooh, salad. salad. Is that the salad? It's lovely. Thank you. Cheers, boy. It's good. Thank you. Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. You can eat all that, Phil. Yeah, boy. <laughs> The Lebanese meal was decent, and um, I feel the Lebanese meal was decent, and uh, it cost probably like about 100 pounds, about 120 US dollars, and uh, plus a tip, which they didn't ask for, but we just gave it anyway. And now we just come for a little walk on Dubai Marina. That was fun. It's nearly <laughs> four in the morning. Phil has got his burger. <laughs> and we're just walking back. Now it's it's kind of quite chilled. All the buildings are massive, as you probably expect in Dubai. But um yeah, that club was really cool. So anyone who thinks like you can't drink alcohol or have fun or anything like that, like honestly, it was really good. What was it called? I can't remember. I feel, I feel like my last story said it anyway. But uh, my last like, message, but blah blah. No, it's blah blah. blah, it was blah. blah. No, it's no, it's blah blah. blah. It was called blah blah, 
and they, they've got a, they've got an outside bit and they've also got like a downstairs bit which was like really rubbish yeah it was really good um there were like some there were some people in there who were like working i guess is a better way to say it you had to pay like a thousand dirhams to get in like but that was for your alcohol like your alcohol bill that's what 200 pounds is it about 200 quid 220 quid yeah, about, two, yeah. about 220 pounds which is probably like 250 us dollars something like that yeah you had to that was like a minimum spend in there but to be honest with you we went through that and then we had to pay a little bit more at the end for our tab but uh yeah it was a really good night and um we're gonna get some sleep <laughs> yeah boy well, my watch has gone down but i just checked it was like nearly four in the morning it's like, it's like i need to sleep yeah we need to sleep so um good night <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,